all my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faces looking at me are real deceitful I don't believe Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel It's your girl Empress K Coming to you guys, sorry about that I didn't kick the thing Coming to you guys with another reading a Collective reading for March 2023 For all Virgos Virgos, this is you guys March 2023 reading if you guys don't happen to stumble across on his reading afterwards, this reading is still for you. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, Spirit, this is for Virgos. This is for Virgos. Okay. Um, song, never would have thought. They've been coming out a lot. Artist Tucker, if I could turn back the hands of time, I would not be in this lounge with my head hanging down. Listening to the sad songs that the juke bar plays, crying tears of a calm day by day. Traveling down this highway, wondering what went wrong. So it's like you guys are tired of being on the same same path. It's like y'all keep leaving and y'all keep building y'all self up just to get back on the same path or deal with the same bull crap again. So it's like you guys want to stop some type of um repeat, repeat energy. And I'm seeing um, song Under the Influence by Chris Brown. It says, you don't know what you did, did to me. Your body weight speaks to me. I don't know what you did, did to me. Your body light weight speaks to me. Capricorns had the same two cards or had this card at the bottom. Oh, I, I think it was Capricorns. I believe it was, if it wasn't Capricorns, it was pro it, probably Aquarius. But I'm pretty sure it was, it was... It was that it was um Capricorn, but we're gonna get into it and see. Maybe you guys are dating like Capricorn, Capricorn, or you guys are definitely sharing energy right now, dealing with the same type of energy. But yeah, y'all tired of being in the same spot. Y'all tired of being in the same spot, but somebody definitely keeps coming off with the energy of let's make love, like let's make love, let's make love, let's make love. Let's make love. Every time something go wrong, let's let's do, let's do this. This going it's like they feel like this was gonna make it better. Some of you guys, this person is totally in a sexual energy, um, so they could have a higher sex drive. But let's see what is coming in the March. In coming in March, March twenty twenty three spirit. Okay, the hangman is here, so I'm seeing that there's some upside down energy right now. There's definitely some energy of you feeling like you, your success is not there yet or you sacrificing a lot for success. So you feel like you barely have time for anything else. It's like you always taking action, always have something to do, have a lot of responsibility. So a lot of you guys personal life has definitely been put on hold or you guys may not even have a social life. You guys may be spending a lot of time alone right now. The only thing that y'all really see in y'all focus is what's coming towards y'all and i'm seeing secrets is being revealed people are being revealed to you the ones that don't mess with you the ones that fake this in you are fake coming at you when you're not looking the emperor is here so i definitely see some authority so some of you guys may have great leadership skills may definitely supposed to be a boss may be supposed to be a leader and we have the king of pentacles here this is a lot of masculine energy coming out the king of pentacles is here so i'm seeing it um yeah some of you guys uh are definitely focusing on finances it's like y'all refuse to go back to how it used to be it's like y'all y'all refuse to go back to following other people's wishes and desires and just for you to have nothing and end up with nothing like this is like almost going bankrupt for other people and i'm seeing three of uh cups here so i'm seeing as you're going to be celebrating something and I'm also seeing that there is someone coming in from the past. This person could, you could meet this person at the event. Family members may put this together. This person may be an Aries, doesn't have to be. But this person is definitely well respected or your family will respect you. And they feel like this is the person that you're supposed to be with or need to be with. So I'm seeing family and friends being involved in this get back, get togetherness. So somebody may, you know how people do. And I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles is here as well. So I'm also seeing someone coming to you guys with an offer. This could be um, someone finally coming out of stagnation. This could have been someone that was pretending like they was just going to let you leave. 
um, and they may have let you even meet someone new or may have even let you get as far away from them as possible. The furthest that they have ever got let you get away because they was definitely hung on to you real tightly. So it's like somebody has, they, they did loosen a grip or they loosen a hold just enough for you to squeeze through the cracks and get out of this chokehold. I'm feeling like this is the relationship that had you in a chokehold position. And some of you guys already took a leap. Y'all done left. Y'all done took a leap to something new. Or y'all done took a leap and moved. Or y'all done leaped and, and went somewhere else. This could be physically or um, this could definitely be like what y'all moving or moving on energy here. Somebody is confessing they love. Somebody is finally coming out of the closet. And I'm also seeing the emperor here as well. So I'm seeing, yeah, you and this person shares the dynamic of being the head of y'all family. Y'all both are real respected by y'all family. Some of you guys, this could be a friend of the family. Or this could be someone that you grew up with. Like in the same neighborhood or in the same area. This person may have choose everyone else over you and they just and they finally realizing why they keep ending up on this road, why they keep ending up with tears in their eyes, why they keep ending up looking like a clown and a fool is because they keep giving themselves to the wrong people. So this could be somebody that really was getting people based off of what they had. And a high priestess is here. You more intuitive than your person. Y'all more spiritual. It's like your person may may have let the world distract them with the material things and i'm seeing a sun card here some of you guys may be um em embracing new happiness this could be a new family member this could be a new addition to the family a lot of good news some of you guys spring and summer is going to be very significant for you guys i'm seeing flowers so that definitely lets me know that y'all skin something about y'all skin and the, the king of wands is upside down yeah, somebody is, is not in their power anymore. Someone may have got kicked out of the little group that they was in. You know how everybody got that social group that they be in. They may have got kicked out of a social group. This person may have got abandoned or somebody may have told this person that um that they done lost. This is like them losing the sauce. This is like them not having it like they used to. It's like people feared this person or people feared that this person was on their a game the king of wands is someone that don't play so somebody's feeling like this person is a fraud like they are fake they are phony now this person is watching y'all now this person is watching y'all some of you guys y'all may be getting a lot of attention this person may be hearing through the grapevine that you out here looking good you're uh it's like you're doing good for yourself you emotionally stable and i'm also seeing that it's like you just flowing like everything is just flowing to you naturally like easily um yeah somebody gonna hear something and some of you guys this is this is this is like this is gonna be news to you too because you finally got your trophy it's like you finally getting noticed for all the hard work that you do mm -hmm. some of you guys y'all uh mother position is definitely going to change and i'm seeing a four of pinnacles is here and a knight of wands you guys are going to be very stingy with y'all with y'all uh finances this time around and I'm also seeing y'all going to be stingy with how much y'all give this person loyalty or how much y'all invest into this connection. Um, you guys may even feel like this person is trying to use y'all. So y'all feel like y'all don't want to tell this person that y'all done ran into a success. It's like you going to make this person work for it because it's like, look at this. When you treated them like the king, when you treated them with respect, when you treated them like someone that you wanted to be a family with, it's like this person, they didn't. They didn't they didn't do right. It's like if they, they perpetrated like they was a king of wands. You thought they was a king of wands, but they really was a knight. Someone that comes in and out. Someone that take action and then has to leave. They they not stable. This is someone that could work on on a at a distance. Or this could be someone that you talk to them for a little while and then they go they go missing in action all of a sudden. And the four of cups is here. It's like this is unrequited love. They didn't give you enough. And it's like, you over it. you like, I'm over it, Empress. I don't even think about this person no more. I don't even dwell about this energy no more. It's like, I'm just over it. You know, that's the energy. It's like, I'm over it. Um, it's like, that's it, you know? So let's see what else is here. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. What did they do wrong? Clarify that. What did they do wrong in this connection spirit that they could have did differently? Highlight what could have they what could have they done differently if they could have done something differently? What could have been done differently? 
okay belittling you making you feel or look stupid this is somebody that had y'all second guessing y'all self y'all y'all looks y'all mentality everything about y'all self that y'all have been built up this is someone that was coming in to distract your mindset and distract you from believing in yourself and distract you from trusting in yourself it's like they almost made it's like almost went crazy is what i'm hearing like this was someone that, that toyed with you so much to where you was thinking that you were wrong and they were right they may was talking about your past a lot bringing up your past and I'm seeing they thought you played victim too too many times and felt you needed therapy. So yeah, this is somebody that you keep telling them what it is that you want. You keep telling them, you keep t talking to them, talking to them about, and they try to make you feel like you crazy, like you need to go to counseling. Something is wrong with your head. It's like your head isn't right. Something is wrong with your mindset. It's like, what is wrong with you? It's like they making it feel like you so, you, it's like you just crazy. That's what it is. It's like you you the crazy one. You the one that need it's like, yeah, when I mean, really you were the victim in this case because they was trying to belittle you. So it's like you were the you were that. And I see you got turned off by their lack of motivation. So because you was telling them that, hey, if you don't change your ways, if you don't do this or if you don't do that, I'm about to leave. And they like you always complaining, making it seem like you complaining about something, but man, who wanna get treated like this? Like, they everywhere else but with, with you. And even when they're around you, it's like they still distracted by other things. Like, you ain't never really just spent no quality time with this person or spent, you know, a whole day with just y'all spending together. And I'm seeing too forgiving, taking advantage of the, of the kindness. So it's like this person keeps doing this to you because they feel like if they just come in and give you a sob story and make you feel bad for them and make you feel sorry for them, that you're going to let them back in. But they don't even do that for you. That's the crazy part. They don't even do that for you. They don't like the fact that you you put yourself out there. So this person don't like the fact that you you may be dressed in a certain type of way or you posting something and they trying to belittle you from what you're posting. Like what you posting is ridiculous. You shouldn't be showing people this or showing people that. And you just want people to look at you and this and this and this and that. Yeah, they... Look at that. You got in their head and they hated it. So it's like they try to reverse it on you. Like they try to make it seem, I'm telling you, they didn't like that you were getting to them. They didn't like that you, what you were saying was real and the truth hurts. So it was hurting them. Your truth was hurting them because that's what really what was going on. Talking marriage scares them. So it's like this person is scared of commitment. They, they, they afraid of settling down as soon as you would talk about it they would hurry up and switch the channel switch the station on you what you were saying and i'm seeing you both got bored in this connection both of y'all like look ain't nothing working ain't nothing going our way it's just the same old thing you playing victim and then i play the victim and then you forgive me and then i forgive you and then this happens and then this happening and it's it's just like yeah mm-hmm it's like they don't want you to they don't want you to show off your body. And I'm seeing not knowing how to converse with you or them. So I'm seeing somebody don't know how to like come to a, a peaceful solution without it, it it being this. It's like they don't know how to it's like except for teaching you the game, they were trying to run it on you. But for some of you guys, they just feel like you should just be they really want you to cover up. Some of you guys, y'all may have a body. And they like, I don't want, it's like they jealous. And they try to switch it on you and make it seem like, don't you think that that's, that's too, and you're like, no, it's not revealing. Some of you guys may not even be showing that much. But they just so jealous of you that it taunts them and they, they convert it into this. And it makes you confused because you're like, am I dressing crazy or is, is you know what I'm saying? They develop unhealthy habits just to tolerate this connection. So I'm seeing this person has um, got on drugs more or drinking more it's like they don't know how to cope with you on a sober level because i feel like you try to bring out what they've been hiding for so long it's like it's something that you on some of you guys are on it some of you guys have accused this person of something and it's something that they was known from in their past and they're trying to keep it away from you they don't want you to know this so some of you guys you you may not even know that this person has a drug addiction and it's like you didn't trigger this in them because for them to come out because you requiring them to be their true self and this is who they truly are so it's like if you get what i'm saying they play like they not this but they really that 
okay? I see the vibe just ain't there. So I'm seeing that, you, yeah, y'all not feeling it no more. It's like y'all not feeling it no more. It's, it's just like, you like, ugh. It, you like empress. I wish, it's like, you know how you meet somebody? It's like after you mess with them, you you like, they ugly. But when you was with them, you felt like they were so, they were so good looking and so this and so that. They can't control themselves. Whatever drug addiction they have or drinking addiction that they have, they can't control it. And it's like, they think, they, they scared that you're going to find out about it. I already have them found out about it. But it's like they denying it. They don't want you to know. It's like when you said what you said, you hit it on the nail. Like the nail on the head. So it's like whatever y'all told this person about them drinking or being um alcoholic or being um addicted to drugs, y'all were right. I'm seeing they played doctor, pinpointed everything um wrong with you. So it's like they look at this. It's like you was telling them what you felt was wrong with them, and they would try to doctor you like like they were a doctor you know like you need therapy so that no wonder why this is out so it's like this person thought that they knew better than you you know and i'm seeing only in it for personal gain so this person feel like being with you is something that they will gain from it's like it's something that they would um get out of the situation you know of being with you some of you guys it could be y'all getting more successful or y'all becoming more you know it's like it, and y'all maybe get a lot of attention that's why they is this is like a ike and tina story like how ike got started getting with tina when he started standing and she that's the only time when he started feeling like he had to put his hands on her because she was getting out of hand it's like she was getting way bigger than what he thought she would get and it's like he wasn't getting that attention no more and it was all on her so it's cool when he get the attention but when you get the attention it's not and I'm seeing you had to do most of the work in bed. So this is somebody that don't do, they don't do it good enough. And I'm seeing, sorry, I'm too busy. Never having time and making you feel like they aren't interested. And it's like when they do that, it's like it makes the connection boring because y'all don't spend time together. You don't talk to them a lot. So this is someone that it's like hard to reach, hard to get at. They put too much on you, using you as a footstool. So it's like this person gives you too much respect. Too much of responsibility trying to be too big too arrogant you know and i'm saying they regret it they regret ever doing you wrong so this is something that they regret it it's like they put all their issues or their problems on you wanted you to deal with everything or let you allow you to do all the work by yourself and i'm saying they were surrounded by bad influences so this person was surrounded by people that made this person act an asshole like they literally act the asshole that's the, that's the energy there literally act the asshole now i didn't see no third party y'all so i didn't see no third party energy but i'm gonna get some messages out because i heavily feel like this is a twin that y'all dealing with an unhealed twin this feels like like an unhealed twin to me so i'm gonna get some messages out oh look at this i keep kicking this thing over see it's like this person is being like a pain in the ass because i keep kicking this thing like on the reading I, I wasn't doing it all before. And that thing was right there for the other reason I did. Now all of a sudden I'm kicking it. But let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. They lie so much they believe their own lies. So this person is, is definitely thinking that they don't have a drug addiction. They definitely feel like they don't have a drug addiction, y'all. And they really do. And that drug addiction turned this person a lot. It's like you will see it. Either they drinking or they are they uh doing drugs and they doing it a lot. Especially now. And I'm saying never knew a love like this before. So of course, it's like you pulling away and look at this. They sorry, they overreacted. So at first they told you you were overreacting, but they overreacted. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you wasn't wrong. Don't let this person talk with your mind like that. They over they the ones overreacted by what you asked them or told them the truth hurts. And I'm seeing leave you waiting up at night. So they leave you waiting for them. They say they coming through. They don't come through. I know I need to put you first. So this is someone that knows that they've been feeding you bullshit lies. Putting everyone and everybody else before the connection. Um, just doing crazy stuff like being out there. Yeah. And I'm seeing there, oh, there are others. There, there's others. You're not the only one. So now third party is coming out. But I, I, let me write down this topic because this is the topic that I want y'all to know about. This is the main thing.
Okay, so they drug or alcohol problem is what's making them want to hurt y'all because they don't want y'all to know the truth. Okay, so that's the topic. They don't want y'all to know the truth. They don't want y'all to think of them as an alcoholic or a drug or a drug addict. But they, you're not the only one. And it's like they've been putting these other situations and what they're doing behind closed doors before this connection and you catching on to it. They very wild. So they act humble, but they really wild. And I'm seeing this is bogus. So they feel like this is, you know what, this is becoming too much for me. This is becoming too much. You, you trying to hold them too much down to, to their commitments. And in order for them to be committed, that's like a marriage setting. So they don't want to commit to coming home. They don't want to commit to calling you. They want you to get used to that so you don't require marriage because they don't like that talk. They don't like the talk. It's like when you tell them that, they blow up. Okay, and I'm seeing too many people want them. So it's like, that's why they so busy having fun with all these other women or all these other men. And it's like, it's too fun for them not to come back and be with one person, you know? And I'm saying, just let me redeem myself. So they trying to make it right. They trying to make it right. They're going to try to fix it. And I'm seeing you're the love of their life. You're the person that they would choose to be with. If they had to choose, it would be you. But look at this. Get out your feelings. It's like they constantly play on you. They constantly play on your feelings, constantly playing on your well-being, you know? And I'm seeing I never leave my I'll live, I'll never leave my person alone. So it's like right now it's looking like in their mindset, they're not leaving someone alone. Um, either they afraid of this person putting them on child support or they staying with them. So they they it's like something about child support. If there's some child if there's a child in the way, that's why they stay in there. Mm-hmm. And they want to give you the world, the king of the castle. They want to give you everything. They want to they want to show you that they can be the, the king of wands. They can be the, the you know, the, the king that you need them to be. But they won't ever change. It's something that they try to stick with, even though they know that they should be doing all this. They try not to do that because they feel like they'll be giving up a lot. And I'm saying, let's get married. So this person want to marry you. They um they do want to marry you. They scared, but they want it. They want it. Look at this, ready to settle down. So it's like this person in the beginning, on up to now, towards the end of the month, you're gonna start seeing their energy changing from this. So it's like when you first started dating this person, they wasn't ready to settle down. They wasn't ready to commit. But as they started to move forward, they started to get ready for this. And I'm seeing they not worth losing you. So they feeling like whatever this is that's keeping them from you, it's not worth it. Keisha, they pretended to be single, but they're really not single. They um they really had somebody. And I'm, and I'm seeing they do this a lot. They did this with you too, and they did this with the other person too. Like, so they, they say they single to the other person and you when really they don't want to commit. So that's why they saying that they single so they can get away with what they are doing. So it's like, but they don't want you to do it. It's like, you would be, it'll be, you know, cheating when it's, when it comes to you doing it. Yeah, I heard my, um, my daughter beads. I thought she was in here. She must be close because I heard the beads unless my ears is just getting me real real good okay so let's see Okay, open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. So right now I'm seeing you guys as closed off to love. Y'all like F love. Ain't no love in the heart of the city. That's how y'all feel it. Ain't no love in the heart of town. Okay, so I'm seeing let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So it's like make room. Make room is the key. See, right now, if you guard it, if you got your heart closed off, how are you going to meet someone? How are you going to meet the person that you need to meet? If, if it wasn't meant for you to be with this person, how can you? You know, how can you? And I'm saying caution here. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So, what is, what is, it's all said and done. Just wait. 
more information will come. You will learn more. Some of you guys are seeking to know more because y'all feel like Empress, this can't my person can't be like this. This this my person and I feel it, but it's like this can't be what is gonna end up. Like this can't be the ending. So it's like I know there's more to this story, or there's more that I need to learn or know from this. Manifest is here. Everything that you've been praying about or manifesting is working. So continue on doing your manifesting. Continue on doing your spiritual work, your candle work, however you doing it, whatever you doing, continue doing it. This this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I did say air because they had some air there. I did say air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they, they came out twice. Give it some time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. So it's like, look at this, flow. Make room and let it flow. That's the main two keys. To what you need to do in your love life make room and then let it flow so make room for love to come in don't just be too i'm telling y'all too this too guarded that ain't gonna work because it's like you saying you're giving mixed signals and you're gonna get somebody that's that don't know if they ready to settle down because you don't know yet you want to be committed because you feel like you're old enough to be committed but at the same time it's like you don't know for sure if this is what you want so it's like just make sure that that's what you want too because it's like you've been hurt too it's like the only reason why you want somebody to commit because you want to make sure that it's going somewhere. And that's because you've been hurt before. Somebody, look, you, you dealing with a narcissistic person that reverse in mind, that mindset that they have is this is it's too much. It's too much. And I'm seeing divorce here. So I'm seeing that you and this person have broken up or maybe gonna break up this month. So if you guys haven't experienced that yet, it is coming in. I'm seeing luck is gonna be on your side with this. So I'm seeing um Everything is going to work out in your favor. Stop worrying. You and this person will have like a honeymoon phase for those that are thinking about should they marry this person because they hurted them so much and they, they on the verge of about to break off the engagement. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm saying there could be some health issues arising with your person. Okay. They manifest the negative things to themselves. So something is going to happen. Okay, so if this person is, is doing too much of drugs or doing too much alcohol, something going to happen from this. And I'm seeing distance here. So I'm seeing you and this person um, going to be at a physical distance or emotional distance because it's like it's too much going on. And look at this. All of a sudden, communication. Look up. <clears throat> you ain't even been talking to this person. This could be a long time you haven't talked to this person. And y'all could have been single this whole time. So I'm seeing this is for singles. Y'all been single this whole time since this person left. Y'all have never gotten a connection after this, like a real connection. I'm seeing intuition is here. The red flags you ignored now will come back to life later. So I'm seeing that you ignored all the signs with this person and you getting tested again with this person. This person has a gambling addiction. They have a bad habit with gambling, drinking, drugs. And I'm seeing intimacy here and pregnancy. So I'm seeing this person is, is looking for you to sexually heal them. It's like they want to, they want to, they know that you're going to stick by them. And I'm seeing water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's like this person knows this. It's like they know that if they get you pregnant, that you're going to let them back in and you're going to be intimate with them again. And they're going to, they're going to be able to, they want to move in with you now because they, they, it's like they looking for some type, some type of stability. I'm telling you, they got kicked out of somewhere. And I'm seeing vacation and confession. So they're going to take, y'all going to go somewhere and this person is going to confess everything to you. He's going to tell you everything. She's going to tell you everything that's been going on. And I'm seeing this person loves dogs. They love pets. But you will hear from this person real soon. So get ready for a conversation from this person. They didn't held back long enough. See, they, they pretend not to put you like that because they circle don't accept nobody like you. See, they circle accept people that's fake phonies and liars and manipulators like them. So it's like you too real. So there's some some people that was in this person's ear telling them you don't need them. That's not that's not even no. You don't need this person right here. It's like you need this type of person because they didn't want this person to be with you because then they was gonna start moving different. So they was around some bad influences, and they didn't caught on to what was happening there. But this was y'all reading Virgos. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Let me know what is the deal. Y'all know I like to read the comment section. I always reply back. Um, let me know how y'all felt about this reading. I feel like it was real intense. I feel like it was real, real intense. But I'm feeling like y'all gonna, y'all, y'all, you know how I like to say, stay positive. Y'all got this. Y'all some soldiers. Okay.